Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Keith McClellan. I'm the Director of Partner Solutions Engineering at Cockroach Labs. Clearly, I am not an AV specialist. I will be talking today uh, a little bit about CockroachDB and a little bit more about CockroachDB on OpenShift. And I apologize if I'm completely thrown off by the technical difficulties. So if I am terrible, it is all my fault. And if I'm brilliant, I'm sure it is um, all to Mr. Waite's credit. What is CockroachDB? CockroachDB is a distributed SQL database. We bring together the best of the relational RDBMS world and the best of the NoSQL world in a database that allows you to run system of record workloads in a Kubernetes native environment. Um, that means a whole lot of things to a lot of people and I'd be happy to talk to all of you about that in more depth another time. Um, but to start, we, we're a database that is architected to scale out rather than scale up. That means when you need more capacity, you add more nodes to your cluster. This is um, not too dissimilar to Kubernetes, which is, uh, so it's not probably too surprising to folks in this room that uh, we run well in, in OpenShift because of that. Um, and what we've done is we've presented a familiar SQL interface based on the Postgres wire protocol. So your applications can connect to CockroachDB just like they can connect to any Postgres database. Because we can scale our database by adding more nodes, when, whenever there is a capacity challenge in a database, whether you need to store more data or you need more transactions per second or you need to be able to host more users, you solve that problem rather than by buying um, larger and more expensive servers by just adding a few more instances of CockroachDB to your environment. Because of the way we scale out, we're inherently um, we're inherently distributed. And that means that we can distribute across not only multiple nodes, but multiple sites as well. And in OpenShift in Kubernetes land, that means we can distribute across multiple Kubernetes clusters, multiple OpenShift clusters, and provision a single logical database to solve all of your kind of computing challenges. Because of that, we're also inherently multi-cloud which means you can have an OpenShift cluster running in AWS, you can have an OpenShift cluster running in GCP, you can have an OpenShift cluster running in Azure and um, have that be one database. Not three databases that you have to maintain and keep in sync, but one single database that all of your applications and users can interact with. So not only can we survive, say, a node failure or a Kubernetes cluster or an OpenShift cluster failure, um, we can survive the failure of an entire, um, uh, an entire cloud provider if, if that were to become a problem for, every, for anybody. And we do that while guaranteeing no data loss um, and, um, and no disruption to your applications. So how do we do this? Not only did we present a database and, did we, and not only did we build it from the ground up for, to, to work with Kubernetes, um, but we do that by providing a, an OpenShift certified Kubernetes operator for CockroachDB that gives you kind of our world-class SR, the information from our SREs and a world-class operator to allow you to provision and manage your, your CockroachDB environment in OpenShift without, um, without requiring a, you know, dedicated staff. Because of all of that stuff that we just talked about, um, Running CockroachDB on OpenShift is an extremely easy experience, much easier than getting these slides up here today. So um, thank you all so much for, for your time. If you, do, uh, if you are interested in learning more, we do have a university where you can go and, and take some online classes and learn a little bit more about CockroachDB. And are you guys going to be on the showroom floor? And we are going to be on the showroom floor. I will personally be on the showroom floor for the next three days. So please come and, and visit with me and um, we'd be happy to, to tell you more about the database and, and maybe even show it off a little bit. And are you guys donating $3 to some cause over there? We, we are in fact donating $3 to Women Who Code for anyone who attends either our virtual or in-person booth and lets us scan their badge. So so thank you for, for that as well, Mr. Wade. Thanks a lot.